Who was relevant in that age? Lizzie McGuire. Lizzie McGuire! Yeah. But Lizzie McGuire was relevant to me, like, essentially even to this day. <laughs> Hello friends and welcome to another video. Today I'm with Freddie. Ding 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 ding. Frederica. We are going to be bringing you a video that was popular months ago <laughs> that no one's really doing anymore, but we really wanted to do it. Yeah. It's how I did my makeup in not high school, but middle school. Middle school to me is more fun just because like, it's just super, super nostalgic. And like the amount of accessories I used in middle school was just like ridiculous. And I just like knew I was fly and like knew I was fine. And like <laughs> lip gloss popping at all times. I went ham. Freddie watched me do this. He did. I went on eBay. I got really excited because I found some lip gloss that I had used many years ago. And then I went on a bender and I asked Freddie what she had used in middle school. And yeah. I just got like eight lip glosses from different vendors. So we have <laughs> a lot of lip products. We have a lot of hair clips and we have one single pressed powder. I was in middle school in like the early mid 2000s. I pretty much did exactly what a lot of like early mid 2000s girls did, but with the added caveat that my mom was really strict. So I would like sneak this into school and then put it on at school. <laughs> let's cool. get into it, let's do it. Should we start with the lip stuff? Yeah, let's start with lip stuff. I just wanna show you guys the amount of things that I bought. This one is a special request by Freddie. Special place in my heart. This NYC roll on glitter lip gloss. I mean, they had a lot of different like colors and styles, I guess. Like some weren't glitter, some were just clear, but like mm -hmm. just this NYC brand is so near and dear to my heart. You know, going to grocery stores and drug stores with your mom was always just like a thing, at least for me in middle school. But like, I would always go into like the little makeup section and be like, ooh, which lip gloss do I want today? And, and this roll on application is so early 2000s. Like, just look at it. I just also want to say that I got these off eBay and they're supposedly like pretty authentic to the time. So these might be expired. I'm not <laughs> recommending that you try these at home, but we will be trying them. I mean, they, this does look a little clumpy, like it's been sitting. Oh my God, oh my God, it's so, oh, it's like when smell just triggers memories, you know? It's like, wait, oh man, yes. This is what I had. That lip gloss smells like limited too. All I remember is just like using this lip gloss and watching the hair and dress. <laughs> oh. <laughs> oh my God. Is there any glitter? Yeah, I see some glitter. There's a tiny bit of glitter, no blue tint at all. Mm -hmm. This is super clear. I can't I really explain it. It smells like something that would be in like a body spray bottle. Like limited to Bath and Body Works, like stores of that nature is what the smell reminds me of. Actually. Besides the NYC thing, the rest of the lip products are all Bonnie Bell. <laughs> Bonnie Bell was so lit. This thing is Bonnie Bell Lip Smackers Lip Licks. Look at that packaging. Look at this packaging. Hollow. Also, it's hollow. It is hollow. <laughs> <laughs> Which means I'm slightly aroused. I had this thing when I was like nine. So this is more like fourth grade, but mm -hmm. it still felt relevant just because I can't believe I found this on eBay. I had yeah. to buy it. And I specifically remember that having it in the fall of fourth grade and someone being like, if you put any more of that stuff on, your lips are gonna fall off. And me silently pulling it out of my desk, opening it up and just being like, <laughs> smell it. I don't know if it, because it doesn't smell like other lip glosses, but it smells like, it smells like crayon. It does, it smells like crayons! Okay, I'm gonna put this thing on. Oh my god. What oh is this god. silvery tint? That oh my is... god. I feel like I kind of do remember this stuff. <laughs> you know that this is when my like love of crazy lipsticks began too. Yeah. When I was like, this is the color for me. Think about like in that like 2001, 2002 era, me walking around probably like a giant Gap Kids sweatshirt on and being like, okay, first of all, wait, so when was Xenon? You're giving me Xenon vibes. It must have been around then because they were being like, girl, the 21st century. Yeah. Like, ooh, the 21st century. Yeah. Remember when she had that holographic disc that was her earring? Yes. But oh it was my also God. like the secret to the ship's like interior workings. Yeah. Girl power. Cheetah sisters. <laughs> I think that we look great so far. I thought about um, waxing my mustache before this just cause like, you know, but then I realized if we were being true to our middle school selves, I wasn't allowed to. Same. The other ones that Freddie used were these two, right? Yes. Tell us a little bit about these guys. So all of these were very just clear, you know, none of yeah. them really had any actual tints. Ah, oh. that does smell really old school. It smells a little bit expired though. 
<laughs> With that, put it on your face. Uh -huh. It also feels expired on my lips. We're trying to figure out, maybe this is just what things felt like back then. Things were different then. <laughs> Bonnie Bell Flip Gloss. I used to have this in my pencil case in class. I would just like flip it and open it. I remember that. I remember that one. Right? Yeah, Were there I commercials that. about this? I, yes. Yeah. It was like, pop, pop it up, yeah. I don't think I had the great flavor. You can't see, this doesn't look like anything. It no. just looks like my lips. It was more about the flip anyway. Yeah. I think I remember it being like really poppy and this is like kind of actually effortful. Like I'm like. <laughs> you can't really tell if there's anything on my lips, but you can tell that my mustache is out and about today. <laughs> what was the early 2000s? Like what it happened was fun. then? The Sims. Age of Empires for me. Oh. <laughs> See, you know I would though. Of course. <laughs> this is another one that I got. It's like a little foam tip and like it'll sort of come up the top. Through those little holes, yeah. Yeah, in the early 2000s, like lip glosses and lipsticks were like less about what they look like on and more about how cool does it come out of the tube. Look, I got it. I look, I got the you little got bubble out. And then the top part will just come out completely clear, which is, you know, how it was supposed to be. This one actually has a weird smell and I always thought it had a weird smell growing mm. up, but I continued to use it. That one's definitely separated though. Look at the top of it. Yes, it is. Ew. Wait, no, look at it. Though to be fair, this thing is like at least more than 10 years old. Looks appetizing, Freddy. Maybe you should put it on your face. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh gosh. This is so crazy how reminiscent this stuff is. It's all clear gloss or it's shimmery. Yeah. All of these things essentially are the same, but like all of the brands made bank. When you see the tube, you're like, oh, 2004. This is the going out gloss. A little sparkly. I'd wear it when I'd be out on the town with my girls. <laughs> to like the seventh grade dance? Yeah. Every middle school dance I remember that happened between our school and our brother's school, they always played Outcast Hey Ya. At my seventh grade dance, they played One Two Step by Sierra. I really remember that. <laughs> I got a bunch of butterfly clips for Freddie. So I'm just gonna have fun over here with them. Because Tell us about the butterfly clip, Freddie. There were many forms of the butterfly clip in the early 2000s. These were the most common. I would have like cornrows or twists going back. They all just stopped in the middle of my head. And then at the end of each cornrow and twist, we would put Mm. A butterfly clip. I didn't start wearing like other makeup besides sort of like lip glosses until eighth grade. I got an All May Clear Complexion Pressed Powder. And this is the same thing. And I remember getting light medium. I think the color that was light medium back in the day, so I guess that would be like 2005, 2006, was a little orangier. I used to take this and take the little like felt pad and just like push it around my face. You know, like there was no brush. Yeah. It would just be this and I would just like drag it. <laughs> and like drag it over the stash and like drag it under the eyes. I'm trying to give you guys a good image of my mustache here, just so you can get the full effect. Also, just imagine a little bit of hairs in here and then a couple years later, no hairs in here and then like a full tadpole. Look at your little clips. They're so cute. I'm like kind of into them. I lived for a butterfly clip. Butterfly clips and lip gloss. All I needed in that life was sin. I didn't use hair clips really. I used to have a middle part in the middle of my hair like this. In sixth and seventh grade, I had bangs that were straight across. That's the last time I've had bangs. Do you have photos? <laughs> it's so funny like looking back on the stuff that I used to do. It reminds me of like all of my fears and trials and tribulations of like adolescence and puberty. Middle school's hard, man. Like <sighs> middle school is so hard. Such a hard time. So like anything, and I just love that like the littlest, smallest things were things that got us through and the things that made us happy. And like, there's nothing wrong with that. It's funny to look back on because I'm like, oh, I look ridiculous. But like at the time I was like, I feel great. Confident. Yeah. yeah, it's really hard in middle school to feel confident. And like if a gloss with a little bit of glitter and like crazy scents like made me feel confident, then like it's worth it. I also firmly believe that the weird stuff that we put on our face as preteens and teens, like make us the women we are today. Oh, you know, totally. like you need to go through phases of <laughs> doing stuff and putting weird stuff on your face. Thank you guys so much for watching. If you like this video, give this video a big thumbs up. Smash that like button. If you wanna see more videos like that, hit that subscribe button. My social media handles, I'll put them somewhere over my face, like here probably. <laughs> Check out my next beat. I vlog live every Tuesday, Thursday, and Sunday. Here are Freddie's social media handles so you can find her in the world. I'll put them over her face. They'll be there. Maybe I'll over her boobs, who knows? But I don't know. Yeah, thanks for watching. See you.